What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm simply going to be talking about some more comics that I did purchase to resell but also keep some in my personal collection. If you guys have seen recently, I'm getting back into comics on my channel. Reason for that is a while back I did purchase over 2,000 comics to resell and I did end up keeping some of them for my personal collection and it just basically started my love for comics once again. I was collecting over five years ago took a really long break and started collecting other things but once I purchased these to resell I did pick out some for myself and I just got back into the love of comic books. I decided to purchase some more comics however and I purchased over 900 comics. I asked the guy how many he had because his Facebook post I seen that there's some that I was missing for my personal collection. Some issue number ones and just some in general that I knew I was missing and I just in my opinion had to have it. I ended up asking him what he wanted for the entire lot. He said simply make him an offer. I asked him how many he had. He told me 900. So I offered him $600 and he took it. That equals out to be about 66, about 65, 66 cents each, which is more than I purchased in the past. But all of these comics are either all bagged and boarded. They are all Marvel and DC. There's a lot of runs. There is Superboy. A uh, whole run of Superboy, which includes the first appearance of King Shark, which since the new Suicide Squad movie came out a while back, that comic, since it's the first appearance that he's in, has been skyrocketing. It's closer to $100 as of the time I'm recording this video. And he has Superman Doomsday, complete set of that, a complete run. And he has a lot of other ones as well. A lot of great comics in this guy's collection. Since I was purchasing all of those comics from him and I did meet him, he did surprise me with this. He did ask me if I was a fan of it. I said yes. And that is this Joker head knocker, basically a bobblehead, from the Dark Knight movie, which is one of my favorite Batman movies of all time. This is my favorite version of Joker that's ever been made. I, in my opinion, I don't think anything's ever going to top it. So it's just really cool. A nice gesture that I was buying over 900 comics from him. So he just gave me this. And I looked up the value, not that I'd ever sell it. But it's on eBay for about $20, $25. And I just think that it's the coolest thing anybody's ever given me that I purchased something from. So I am going to be taking it out. It is brand new open, but I like displaying things. So I'm likely going to display this and I'll have the box in the background as kind of a backdrop. I think that'll look honestly really cool. But I thought this was a very nice gesture that this guy made because I was buying all of those comics from him. And he did say he might have more. He'll message me and I'll be the first person that, if I'm interested, he'll likely sell to rather than part it out. He likes selling in bulk, which benefits me. If I can go and purchase a lot, even though I'm spending... 600 to a thousand dollars all in one shot but i'm getting a ton of comics and if it equals out to be under 50 cents each or around 50 cents each you know that there's definitely profit to be made if you're buying a comic for 50 cents and you're just selling it for a dollar you're basically doubling your money but since all of these comics that i just bought are all bagged and boarded a lot of sets a lot of runs and they're all marvel and dc from what I've seen so far, some of them I should be able to at least get $3 per comic. There's a lot of X-Men once again, a lot of Spider-Man, and a lot of other great ones as well, including Superman and Superboy. So there's definitely profit to be made. I will have to go through them and start listing them, but I just absolutely love getting back into comics on the channel. And since I bought this lot, as you guys have seen recently, I am going and making different videos, videos where I show all X-Men uh, comics, all uh, X-Factor, X-Force, Spider-Man, and different things, making different videos and comic book videos for you guys. Now that I have all of these comics, I'll probably go through them, maybe an entire box on camera, because they're only short boxes, and show you guys what else there is that I purchased that's in this lot. Some of it is stuff that I had in the other lots, but it's stuff that I already sold for three, four, five dollars some of them. So I know I'll be able to sell them once again now that I purchased another lot and they were included. I know I'll be able to sell them once again because some of them are high items and stuff that I sold fairly quickly after I posted them. And I just absolutely love buying these bigger lots because bigger lots, even though it's 600 in one shot, I should be able to at least triple my money after everything is sold and also be able to keep a lot for my own personal collection. You guys know I am collecting a lot more, which I do want to share 
some of my collection, my ones that I'm never going to sell, or at least right now never going to sell, that I have in my collection, but it's going to be a while until some of those videos are out because I have so many more comics that I'm just getting to resell, and I'd rather go through a lot of those and share those with you guys rather than make a video of everything that I'm going to keep because some of the stuff that I'm reselling, the comics that I'm selling, some of them it's very hard for me to sell. I just sold... I think 20x, no, sorry, 20 Web of Spider-Man, and Web of Spider-Man is stuff that I personally want to collect. I decided I'd rather the 60 bucks for the 20 comics rather than keep those 20 comics in my collection right now, because I have a ton of comics to go through, and I know I'll be able to pick out a lot more to add to my collection, I decided just to sell them. So it is at times getting harder for me to go and sell some of these comics, but that is why I bought them in the first place. I do have an eBay store, I do sell online, Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, whatever here in Canada, whole bunch of other options, and I do have a Facebook page for my reselling, so that's why I bought them, that is the main thing that I'm going to be doing with them, but if I can pick out some for myself, but also be able to triple my money, that is why I'm doing this. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, me basically explaining that, bought more comics, there's more comics to be coming on the channel and also share this nice gesture that this gentleman gave me, this awesome uh, Joker figure. It just looks awesome. It's going to be nice. going to have to clear out a spot on my shelf, obviously, my Marvel slash DC shelf. But uh, business is booming. I have a lot more things coming in. I just purchased a lot of video games as well. Video game lots and different things like that. Might have paid a little bit more than I should have, but that's because I had absolutely no video games in inventory. So I decided to pay up for some of them, and I know I will be able to make some profit on the back end of those as well. Some footage for my reselling has been lost a while back, so I am just starting to make as much footage as I can and make as many videos as I can, just in case one here or there just ends up being deleted or misplaced. I do have other ones to fill the slots whenever it comes time to upload. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. If you guys are interested in any comics or anything else that I share on this channel that I say I'm going to be reselling, if you guys shoot me a message and you guys say that you're a subscriber, I will likely give you a better deal. Or if you're somebody that wants to trade and there's something that I'm selling and there's something that you have that I would rather have in my personal collection, maybe we can work out some kind of trade. Just remember that I do live in Canada, so for me to ship to the US, where shipping here in Canada might cost me $20 for a bunch of comics, to the US it's gonna cost me closer to 40, and vice versa if you're shipping from the US over. So just keep that in mind whenever you guys see anything, that shipping sometimes will be a little bit more. But enough talking, I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you guys for all of your supports. And the comic book business seems to be booming, and hopefully it stays that way for a while. Hopefully I can buy more lots and get more inventory in my shop, whether it's eBay, Facebook Marketplace. I seem to be doing good with it, and it's extra income on the side of my full-time job. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.